LA, an incredibly beautiful place filled with incredibly beautiful things and even more beautiful people. Now, I'm not referring to the typical outward obvious beauty that we so often see showcased. I more so mean the beauty you may have to dig a bit deeper to find. The hidden gems that lie within a city so rich in history and the people who walk these streets embracing exactly who they are. This is LA Thrift Queens and I cannot wait for you to meet today's guest. Hello guys, what is up, it's Mace. Welcome back to Blazing Glazed. So today I am about to head out to my sixth LA Thrift Queens humble abode that is a little bit outside of Los Angeles. If you're new to my channel, LA Thrift Queens is a series that I kind of started like six months ago, I guess, because I've done one every single month. And this is the sixth episode where I just kind of wanted to start featuring people out here in Los Angeles, around Los Angeles, who I think are fabulous, fantastic individuals and also love to thrift. So today I'm very excited to tell you guys that I took your suggestions and I'm going to meet up with Alexa Sunshine 83. I actually was introduced to her kind of through you guys commenting her name and from our mutual friend Carrie Dayton and I'm just very very excited we've never met before we just like chatted it up in the DMs we're gonna do what we always do I'm gonna go over to her place we're gonna have a chat we're gonna get deep we're gonna get raw we're gonna have a damn good time and then we're gonna go thrift our booties off at her favorite thrift store in her area which I of course have never been to so if you're ready for the jelly ready for a good ass time hit subscribe down below and we are going to head off right now let's go it's a go through the journey of am I gonna find something am I not gonna find something I was like I have I have to film this hello my name's Alexa from Alexa Sunshine 83 I am 25 years old and I'm from Southern California on my YouTube channel I do mostly just thrifting videos so anything having to do with secondhand fashion thrifting with me is thrift hauls and also styling thrift clothes to really inspire people to know that you can go to a thrift store and find amazing pieces and really Kind of expand your style and evolve to what your style actually is because i felt like for a while i was going to forever 21 you know h&m and i just every time i purchased something i just felt kind of empty inside i was like okay my shopping problem it, it's a problem and i really need to kind of figure out my life and so i watched a minimalism documentary and got really into minimalism so i decluttered a bunch Funny enough, I kind of created a palette of just like black and white, and so I got rid of everything that had color. But I just still felt like, okay, I don't wanna buy kind of fast fashion, but if I still need to purchase something, like how, how do I do it? And so I got recommended to watch the True Cost documentary and it blew my mind. When I watched that, I was like, oh my goodness, like this is a, such a bigger issue. And there's all these clothes. I mean, there's a ridiculous amount of clothes in the world, especially in the United States. I feel like other places, thrift stores, there aren't as many. Whereas in the US, like there's just so many because we buy so much and then we're like, oh, I don't like this anymore. And we just kind of donate it. We never cherish things that we purchase. When I started learning about thrifting and all of this, I was like, I need, I need to share this with people. I remember I made my first like or my first thrift with me, I think like two, three years ago. I was like, there's something about this. Like I love going to the thrift store. It's so, you know, you don't know what you're gonna get. It's such an interesting feeling. I wanna take people along with me. I get excited still to this day after making a thrift with me every single Sunday for the past two years, I still get so excited about it because I don't know what I'm gonna find. And I don't know what's gonna also then inspire somebody to try thrift shopping and know that it's not gross. Yes, you may find some gross stuff sometimes, but that's just the fun of it weirdly. And so, from then i just really went full on into creating a thrifting secondhand youtube channel when i first started thrifting like i said i was more into like a minimal minimalistic style i realized i was putting myself in a box and when you go thrifting you can't put yourself mm -mm. in a box it like if you do you will not find anything ever so i finally let myself go and like even if I may not go into the colorful section all the time, maybe I will this time. And so Pinterest has been amazing. I feel really inspired by 90s fashion. I think, again, it's evolved a lot. I just started getting into like more feminine pieces as well. Mm -hmm. I think, again, for a while being a woman, I felt like I needed to cover myself. So 
I wouldn't get, you know, catcalled and like mm -hmm. that horrible stuff. And so now I'm like, again, who cares? And I feel so much more confident and also like it makes going to the thrift store so much more interesting because I'm more open and I can go into every single section in different patterns, different sizes and really get a feel of what I actually like. I love Disney, Disneyland everything. And I think that's one of the biggest thing that has kind of shaped my life and always following your passion and your dreams and all that. And I really love Disney like vintage pieces because it gives a story. It just reminds me of again, being young and hearing like follow your dreams and I will forever wear Disney until I am dead. <laughs> People ask me all the time like, why are you so obsessed with Harley Davidson or just like the Harley Davidson trend in general? And personally, I always grew up going to the Harley store. My dad always had Harleys. And so it's kind of a connection with that. A lot of the Harley Davidson items I have, my dad has given me. So it like- it, It's it, a spe it's special, yeah. yeah. So kind of my big goal is to create a, a website where I not necessarily resell my clothes because I feel like there's a lot of vintage stores and I mean there's Poshmark and stuff, but taking secondhand clothes and somehow creating something out of it. I really want to learn how to make patches. I just really want to kind of challenge myself to do the things that I never one don't know how to do, but I really want to do. And so as time goes on, I want to continue to evolve and I want to continue going to different places and thrifting. I quit my um, retail job only three months ago and is so crazy to me. Like for years, I only hoped that I could be my own boss, create things that I'm passionate about and be myself. Obviously everyone's circumstances are very different and their environment is very different, especially if you have a family and that type of thing. But I don't think you should ever give up on your dream. And I mean, if you can dream it, you can do it. So the last question is just something that you love about yourself. I ask everyone this cause it Ooh. always throws people a little. Ooh, okay. I'm trying. All right, so I have two. Oh, one of them we would is, love more than one. One of them is selfish because it's something I really appreciate about myself and the fact that I've always been a passion person. I've always been like, what is your dream? Like, what do you want to do? And so having that fire in me my entire life is my favorite thing about myself. But then number two is obviously like positivity wise, even though I've kind of struggled with different like mental health stuff, um, even like recently I'm definitely working through it and I'm pretty happy about it. But to this day, even going through depression, I'm still positive. Like my just neutral is optimistic. Like I'm always optimistic. When I was in high school, I got voted most optimistic. And that's why my channel makes the most sense of Alexa Sunshine because that's just how I've always been. Being able to share that then online of whatever is happening in your life right now, whatever things you're dealing with, this is a place on the internet that's always sunny. Obviously, I'm not always the most sunshine person, but there's always sun. Even, even in the clouds, there's always sun. At night, there's always sun with the moon. Every single time I do this, I give the oh, LA Thrift oh Queen God. a piece of my Thrift River Vintage wardrobe and I think you're gonna love this. Oh my gosh, so, oh my God, that's so cool. My style is like evolving. I'm trying to get more into the girl ones in a way and this one's perfect. Even this with a jacket, like I can wear that now. Oh my gosh, I'm glad you right like again. it. Yeah, heck ah. yeah. Okay, so we are at Savers. Your fave or like? It's like my second favorite. It's, I mean, your Belinda Savers in Southern California is my favorite, but this is my second one. This was the very first Savers I'd ever been to. And honestly, I think it was the Special. very first like traditional thrift store I had ever been to. Like a so. less curated kind of yeah. thing, a more traditional store. Okay, mm -hmm. so we are going to head in. We're gonna look around. Are you looking for anything in particular? Okay, so number one, I've had this on my like thrifting kind of list, mm -hmm. um, a corduroy jacket, but a very mm -hmm. specific one. So I don't know necessarily if I'm gonna find it. I really wanna look at the denim like jeans and stuff just because I, I haven't thrifted a pair in a while. And you know that is like- the thrill of that good, that just perfect exactly, fitting pair. Exactly, yeah. Okay, well I'm down to like obsess with the denim because I feel like that takes a while. Mm -hmm. So like we can do it together. Yes. Okay, we are going to head in and we will talk to you guys inside. You have to text me the address for this place. So I feel like thrifting wise, you have to really figure out the different thrift stores by you. Totally. And what is their thing? Like this is not home decor, but clothing, clothing. Wise, weather wise, it's usually pretty good. Let's grab a cart.
So these are seven dollars and forty nine cents. They're by the original Arizona, and like but they're great high waist. Yeah, like that seems the really waist good. Seems absolutely perfect. I think I would maybe take in some at the bottom, mm -hmm. but I was trying to put it around my neck, and it's like perfect. Wow, now that's a that's a really good find. St. John's Bay. I mean, I feel like. St. John's Bay is maybe one of the number one brands I find at the thrift store. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this one. Who decided to get rid of all their overalls? Literally. Okay, so we are in the jackets. We are sussing through. She's found one denim jacket that is very, very, very Alexa, as we already saw from her denim collection. Are these like taking over the world? They're like, wow, but it's a look. See, I'm in love with the yellow. I think it looks really good with the blue sweater. See, I feel like you look can the gold buttons. You can totally work big shoulders because you have, I don't know, you it's just have, these yeah, it's pretty massive. <laughs> Is it too big? I don't know. Look at that, she's got this top. Moody florals, we've got the shoulder pads. Yeah, the real shoulder pads. The buttons too are very, very cool. I feel like that's something that you would think like you would see in a dress, but I think it's cool that it's a top. Okay, so we have just been thrifting and talking so, so much. That's what happens every single time I film these videos, especially when it's my first time meeting the person. We just like are chitting the chat and chatting the shit all day long. So, uh, both of us thought we weren't gonna find much. Instead, we found, of course, so much. Uh, let's have a party. Kind of more like a blazer, tailored in leather jacket. Not the most special, so we don't need. Okay, I'm extremely into this one. Um, I just feel like it is just very cool, like almost John Travolta, Saturday Night Fever, Staying Alive vibes. Obviously, we need a sunny with it. Top part, I absolutely love. Especially even with what you're wearing right now. The perfect place, so honestly, I think I'm gonna get it. And make it into a shirt, yeah. Maybe I should branch out and get long slip dresses. I just always buy short ones. We'll see. I was very inspired by Alexa's one she showed us earlier, so we might have to get. Obviously an extreme shoulder pad at the moment, but I am extremely here for it. I'm obviously on a yellow kiss these days. Okay, so oh. Okay. So weirdly, it happens to be another like slip dress thing. I think I honestly would like it even without this. The only thing is this, but I have a sole in my thing. She can do that. Yeah. She can fix that. That fits you so perfect. I think I really am in love with this blazer. I love it. It's so you. I'm gonna have to get it. Especially with those pads. The shoulder pads are intense, but I like almost love it. Looks so good with exactly what you're wearing right now. I'm so surprised. These shoulder pads are like the jacket. Yeah, they're, they're no, they're big. They're like level 10. Like that is not her shoulder. <laughs> you have to get that. That's so cute. So we just made out like damn bandits. Both got 20% off and, and found much more things than we expected. Oh, yeah. I was like, maybe one thing. I, I, we were both in the mindset. Yeah. You were in the mindset of like, oh, I'm doing this. Then maybe I won't find much because yeah. I'm not filming. And I was like, oh, I'm filming about her. So maybe I won't look for much. And then it was just like inspiration. Yeah. So we are going to head into the car and do a little car haul for you guys. Do you want to go like every other? Yeah. Let's do that. I'm going to go with the first top one, which is very like typical. Again, after seeing my closet definitely makes sense like if you didn't know now you know denim yeah. queen i have a denim jacket it's kind of like not a blazer it doesn't have like a lapel but it also yeah. is structured kind of like exactly one. it was eleven dollars and 99 cents as we said everything was 20 percent off so that's amazing I just really like the structure of it it's different than any other denim jacket that i have i can attest to that i just saw every single one she 
she owns. Mm -hmm. so this is like the perfect addition. Very excited. And I will start with this fabulous yellow blazer that you guys saw in there. Love it so much. It's the so hugest cute. shoulder pads and I, this is gonna have to be part of like a special moment. I also love that it's Talbot's because I used to literally think that was like a, a store for grandmas. So oh yeah, 100%. it's fine. And this was actually $12.99, but then this was yellow tag on a yellow blazer. It was 50% off. Yep, we go. And like the little buttons. As no, well. it has like very so luxe gold and buttons. They, yeah, they're like, not just plastic. No, this isn't like crap. Right. This was probably expensive. It was from Talbot. So yeah. there's some other grannies running around with it. The next thing I got, I, can't remember, I think it's right at the bottom. Victorian button up top. It has the most intense shoulder, shoulder pads, pads Again, as well. Like we both had a big shoulder yeah. pad moment. And like I'm living for it and loving it. And like if I was alone, I would probably talk myself out of it. Cause I'd be like, mm, I don't know. It's a little bit outside my comfort zone, but Seeing you wear that and being like, that's so cute, and you totally rock it, and being like, this is cute, I can totally rock it. It looked amazing it. tucked into your jeans. Yeah. Like, even just with exactly what you're wearing right now, you could have swapped tops out and been such a look. I love it so much. And I really want to get more into like pattern tops because I'm wearing like plain denim jeans. Like, I wear the same jeans all the time. Like, I need some spice. I need, need to spice it up. Something with it. So, this is like the perfect. That's perfect. Oh, it was $7.49. This sweatshirt, which given away a lot recently, a lot that I had from college, a lot that I wasn't really wearing, but this has such a like vintage -y old feel yeah. to it, which I really, really appreciate. We don't know what this is. What does it say? I was thinking you might, since maybe it's local, but like no, maybe not. No, um, everyone's gonna roast but me on, if I try. But, but to be honest, I love the color combo. I love yep. this purple and this green. It gives me very like those Princess Diana street style mm -hmm. photos of her in the biker shorts and like going to the grocery store. This, Completely. and it was only $3.99. Like yeah. I felt like that was pretty cheap for this. I got a sweatshirt as well. This one's a Disney one. And I love Winnie the Pooh. Like Winnie the Pooh everything is just everything to me. And this one is just a Winnie the Pooh kind of sweatshirt. We saw a couple, quite a few Disney things and that was like the one that was the most standout. Exactly. And it was $7.49. This is that slip that I showed you guys earlier. It is green and I was honestly inspired by the green one that she showed earlier in the video. $6.99, we love. And it's like long, so, so I'm going out of my comfort zone with that. I love it so much. The next thing I got was $6.99 and this one's that slip dress as well, but mm -hmm. I am going to cut it because where the like bottom, I don't know. It's, it's asymmetric. It just hits really weird and I'm just like not feeling it, but the top portion, perfect. I love, so definitely can't wait to cut this. <laughs> I have this red and pink. I'm just loving the color blocking on it. I'm loving the colors. I've been obsessed with pink. I've been obsessed with red. I'm honestly just a hoe for color these days in general. This is also Gap and it was only $3.49. Like I just felt like that was a steal yeah. for this. So I will definitely be wearing this often. Well Another slip for this. It's just a red She's slip a dress. dress queen. She is. I'm so <laughs> excited. I never thought I'd be this person. $4.99. Like that is amazing. The only thing again, it is a little torn, but that's okay. We can make it work but she's for a skills. good deal and like a perfect fit. Love the square neck. That's I love it's it. It's perfect, so 90s. And then I have this like big oversized cardigan that honestly isn't very me, but it looks very cozy. And there was just something about these colors I couldn't nice pass pastel. up. Like it's yeah. so perfectly Cotton pastel. Candy. I feel like I've seen a sweater just like this yeah, probably everywhere for so yeah. expensive. And like this, it's not really translating as beautifully, but it's a vibe. And then I got, I mean, this is just a plain Jane white turtleneck. There's nothing to it. I just really needed a white turtleneck. And but that's a very like you thrift basic. Exactly. And it was $4.99. I think, oh, it was a kid's long sleeve. So that's exciting. Hold on. Yeah. Oh There's yeah, like yeah. a little, where is it? A little, little heart at the bottom. That's so it just gem. makes it a little more special. Okay, this is my last piece. It is this just like cream colored, very like, it just reminds me of John Travolta, like Saturday yeah. Night Fever, Staying Alive, like tucked in with some like I don't know black pants I just feel like this is such a move and it was only four five forty nine and then it was fifty percent off of that so I just feel like this is like the, obviously the cheapest jacket I think that I've ever scored yeah, the color it looks so this nice. good and then oh my gosh my last thing I got some overalls they are not going to translate whatsoever they are a little bit oversized but they are so comfy and my favorite thing are overalls because they are so comfy you mm -hmm. can put a sweatshirt under it a sweater and it it's kind of cropped as well, which I really like. So then if I'm wearing my boots or something, like you can really see the Hit boots. them at a good point. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm just ready to put on a chunky sweater with these overalls. Like I'm just a sucker for denim. She's a sucker for denim. And this was 
$7.49. Not bad for overalls, mm -hmm. honestly. Oh my god, I'm like sweating my booty off. Because we just rushed through that. Uh, okay, I can't so believe we did. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will obviously link all of Alexa's info down below. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget that you're a beautiful ass queen, yes. no matter what, being exactly who you are. Anything you took away from this video, I feel like the vibe was like, get out of your comfort yeah. zone, try new things, explore your style, and like, you might just like, find a person within yourself you didn't even know existed. Exactly. Okay. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!